Hello everyone how are you doing? This is AppGeeker here for another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to unlock an iPhone that says unavailable or security lockout. So let's say you forgot your passcode and try so many times that it finally shows you iPhone unavailable message on the screen. Or you removed your phone from your pocket, only found that it went to security lockout without any reason. It can be really annoying when you're locked out the phone completely and can't do anything. Before you take the phone into a local Apple store for repair, you can try a few tricks to open your iPhone yourself. One thing you need to know is that Apple changes the error message appearing on the screen when you enter passcode too many times, in a row to the iPhone. iPhone unavailable is just the same thing iPhone is disabled you guys saw in iOS 15.1 or earlier. Alright, the first way you can try is use erase iPhone button and your Apple ID password to erase and restore your phone wirelessly. If you do not see this button on your screen, you can continue trying to enter your passcode, go through try again in 1 minute, try again in 5 minutes, try again in 15 minutes. Security lockout, just like this. Now you can see this erase iPhone here. Before you can reset your locked iPhone through this option without computer, you'll have to follow these basic requirements. 1. The iPhone is running iOS 15.2 or newer version. 2. The phone is connecting to a Wi-Fi or cellular network that enables you to erase it wirelessly. 3. You need to know your Apple ID and password so that you can remove activation lock during setup. If there is erase iPhone option it's very easy to restore your unavailable iPhone. All you have to do is just tap the option, it will tell that. The phone is in security lockout and asks do you want to wait another 15 minutes to try your passcode or erase all your data and reset your phone to its factory defaults right now. Here I'm going to tap erase iPhone to confirm. Okay, enter your Apple ID and password you used to set up your iPhone. Now you should see a white Apple logo and a progress bar below that indicates the process of wiping your device. Wait a few minutes. Once the progress bar reaches 100%, you're done. It refreshes, shows you Apple logo, and then present you with a hello screen. Now you can follow the on-screen instructions to set up your iPhone. If you have a backup of your phone data settings in iCloud or computer, you can restore it from a backup on app and data screen during setup. Also, don't forget to set a new passcode. If you can't follow the steps described in the previous section, maybe the erase iPhone option doesn't appear in security lockout screen? Maybe the option doesn't respond no matter how you tap it? Whatever the reason, you still have other solutions to fix your disabled iPhone. Keep moving on. The next method we're going to try is a third-party dedicated application named iPhone Unlocker from AppGeeker, which comes with a clean interface that's simple to navigate. Okay, open a browser on your computer. Type in www.appgeeker.com from its home page. Scroll down it to here. Click Windows Download or Mac Download to download and install it on your computer. Once it's done installing I'm gonna run it from the desktop. From its main interface, click wipe passcode, followed by start. Because the iPhone is unavailable and won't be recognized, you will need to place it into recovery mode. Depending on what the model of iPhone you have, it requires pressing a combination of different physical buttons. If you have an iPhone 8, iPhone 10, iPhone XR, iPhone SE, 2 Gen or newer, iPhone 11, iPhone 12, iPhone 13. Press and release the volume up button, then press and release the volume down button. And then keep holding the side button. Keep holding the side button when the iPhone turns off automatically and show you the Apple logo. Don't release the side button until you see this screen. A cable point to a computer like this. If you see this, great, you're in recovery mode. If you have an iPhone 7, keep pressing the volume down and side button. 
let the phone shut off and reboot with Apple logo. Release the button only after it turns out a screen with a cable point to a computer. If you have an old iPhone 6S, iPhone 6, or older device, keep pressing the home button and power button. When you see the Apple logo appear, don't release the buttons. When a screen indicating a cable point to a computer, let go of the button. OK, see here, iPhone Unlocker has recognized your device. Go ahead and confirm your phone information. Click Start at the bottom to begin download iOS software for your iPhone. When it's done, you will get a note that the unlock process will wipe your phone completely and update it to the latest iOS software. Click Unlock button again to confirm. Now, iPhone Unlocker will begin restoring your unavailable iPhone to factory settings, removing the locked screen, and clean the passcode you forgot. You need to wait a while before the whole process is finished. Now you can set the phone up as you did before using your Apple ID and password. During setup, you have option to restore your data and settings from a backup. The last way we're going to show you in this video is use a computer to reset your device. You will also need to put your iPhone in recovery mode, then erase the iPhone through iTunes or Finder app. Before you can reset your unavailable iPhone with iTunes or Finder, you'll have to follow these basic requirements. 1. Make sure you have a computer in hand. Either a PC or Mac is OK. 2. You need a cable to connect your iPhone to the computer. 3. You'll need your Apple ID and password that you use to set up your device. OK. First of all, connect the phone into your computer with a USB cable. Run iTunes on your desktop. For a Mac with macOS Catalina or newer, run Finder app from your dock instead. Look here, the iPhone won't show in the app, still in unavailable state, so you will have to put the phone into recovery mode. You can follow the steps described in the previous part to finish it. Once your iPhone in the recovery mode, a pop-up window appear in the iTunes or Finder, just like this iTunes now detects the unavailable iPhone and asks whether you want to update or restore it. Here I am going to click Restore. iTunes will now begin downloading the latest iOS software from Apple server and extracting the software. You can check it here. If the download takes more than 15 minutes, your device will exit the recovery mode and go back to unavailable screen. You will need to repeat the steps. Once it's downloaded, iTunes begins doing its job. Reinstall the software for your iPhone, erase all of your data on the device, remove the passcode. Check here. The phone is loading. It can last a while. Now it restarts and show you a hello screen. OK, your phone is unlocked now. Hopefully this video helps you fix the iPhone that displays unavailable or security lockout. If it does, please hit the thumbs up and share with your friends. See you in the next video.